Hi right, guys, Alex Rodriguez here with Cross Point Beach, and today we're going to talk about uh, some butterfly pull-up stuff. Rather than another video, just talking about how to do butterfly pull-ups, because we feel like if you don't take a systematic approach to learning a movement like this, you're just going to have bad habits. So this is called a four-step butterfly pull-up. We're going to we're going to give you guys three progressions for this four-step butterfly pull-up to really start to understand what these positions are supposed to look and feel like, um, and then you can kind of progress off of this. So the first progression to this is the actual four-step butterfly pull-up itself. So Isabel's gonna go ahead and give us a dead hang. Remember that whenever we're doing these drills dead hanging, feet are together, toes are pointed towards the floor. Position one is gonna be back. So she's gonna go ahead and give me this back position. Go ahead and drop, all right? You can come down. So I would suggest doing it exactly like this and set up the camera, get yourself into the back position, and if you're not liking the way you're looking, stay there, don't advance for that day, and spend more time on that, on, on, on that position that you're having a hard time with. The cue that I gave her before this video started was think scapula pull-up as well as slightly pushing, pushing with the lats so we're trying to push the bar in front of us or trying to push ourselves behind the bar, whichever cue works best for you. Position number two is going to be the cue up, all right? And up here, we're not necessarily worried about anything to do with the pull-up bar. Um, we're going to go so the arms are greater, just greater than 90 degrees. I want you to make sure that you get my bicep in there on this one. Um, just greater than 90 degrees, if we hit 90 degrees, we've gone too high. So, step number two, she's going to go ahead and jump up. She's going to give me a pause and back, a pause and up, and then she's going to go ahead and drop, all right? Next step, and the third step, we're actually going to pull ourselves through to the other side of the pull-up bar. It's important, and this is really the most beneficial part that we're learning in this drill, that we don't hit the top of a butterfly pull-up and then go at like an angle where we're coming down. We actually want to finish the circle. So this is good to get us finishing the circle. We jump up, we go back, we go up. Now we're going to pull ourselves through to the front of the bar. Very, very important for that reason that we want to complete the circle. We want to make sure that our elbows are still bent, all right? So Isabella's going to jump up. She's going to give us a pause in each position. Back, up, forward, and drop. That's perfect, all right? Last position is going to be down, not drop, right? So I'm using down and drop in its own way. Um, down is not going to be come off of the, off the pull-up bar. Down is going to be from this front position, coming back down to the dead hang or where we started, all right? And that's going to be our fourth, fourth step. So she's going to go ahead and jump up. Back, up, forward, down, and drop, all right? That's the four-step butterfly pull-up with pauses. Once you hit those positions and you feel like you're getting them well, the next step would be taking the paws out but keeping it strict. A lot of times when we start to bring the legs in too soon uh, or prematurely to, for the butterfly pull-up, we end up overextending on the back, we end up kicking awkwardly. So we're going to do it strict and she's going to give me two reps because theoretically now that we're not pausing, it's going to be a little bit easier than it was, but we still don't want to use any legs. I'm sorry. Still want to hit the positions, just not going to pause. Give me two reps. No, two on both. One more. Good. So that was good. So, so as you can see, she is struggling through it because it was strict, but um, she was still hitting all the positions that we warmed up with with that part A of that four-step butterfly. The last step to this progression is now we can start to bring the legs in a little bit. We're going to keep this what a lot of people call a mini butterfly pull-up, so we're not worried about getting our chin over the bar. So let's keep that same circle where we're at, so we're barely getting up, right? Which means that we're barely using the legs. Because theoretically, a person who's at this level doesn't yet understand how and when to use the legs. So this is us trying to get them to understand, without a whole lot of cues and coaching, when the legs should help. Because most of us can figure that out, and our body can figure that out. So the cue that I'm going to give here is 90% strict, 10% legs. So it's a very, very little bit of legs. All right, give me two. One, two. That was perfect. All right, as you can see, she wasn't getting into, into, getting into a huge arch like she, she would in a traditional butterfly. Her legs weren't coming up as high as she would in a traditional butterfly. That was a ten, about 10% legs, 90% arms, which is exactly what we wanted. So that is, we'll call it... Um, Part A, B, and C of the four-step butterfly pull-up, and this is a great place for you to start if you haven't yet done butterfly pull-ups, but you can do kipping pull-ups. That's it for that one.